not only make fast cars. I don't have the traction. And I'm slipping in the transmission oil as I push it further. Oh, I thought you were working out. good one for you guys today. Behind me is Mr. Vitae's 2020 ZL1 Camaro. V plays for the Detroit Lions. He's an offensive tackle. Dan just learned that because Dan tried to draft him for his fantasy football team. Dan's not a football guy, so. Anyways, a little bit about the build. Stock LT4 short block, our complete CNC cylinder heads, obviously custom grind camshaft. Uh, we went with a Pro Charger F1A94 upgraded to a 10 rib setup instead of the standard eight rib. Obviously we have a breather on it for crankcase pressure. And this car making as much horsepower as he wanted on E85, we had to go with the four triple pump fuel system. So we actually have dual regulators on it. One regulator for the port side. There's another regulator in the back for the direct injection. With that being said, obviously the car has two sets of injectors on it. The direct injection is stock LT4 injectors. The aftermarket injectors, I think are some ID 1700, and that is all controlled through the Holly EFI, which is a separate ECM system for that. Additional to the Pro Charger, instead of just their general basic kit, we added an air to water intercooler. So you can see the intercooler here with the race, uh, they call it a Mondo blow off valve. And right here is the, I call it the ice tank, just the water tank uh, for the air to water. So then there's a water pump that circulates water through the intercooler and back keeping our intake air temps as low as possible while making 20 pounds of boost, which is sick for this street car. So you're ready to roll that time lapse and watch this thing get built. Enough. <laughs> you gotta triple pump it. One red ball, three cups. Dude, okay. I, I've seen this it. at Wait, every big race I've ever been to. Where you pick it what cup is the ball? Yeah. yeah. So, it so it makes it one. obvious. Makes it obvious. He puts three cups, one ball, he spins it around, you grab it, it's right there, you get the money. You gotta say 20 bucks. You gotta put your money down before you pick which cup. Okay. And it's a it's a scheme where him and me work together and the rest of the crowd doesn't see it. So I sit there and I say, 50 bucks for a red one. He shows it, I win. Yeah, I won 50 bucks. The whole crowd's like, sweet. Next guy come up. Who wants to do it again? Who wants to do it again? I've had it so bad where the guy doing it, he turns his head looking at the crowd. A guy over here lifts one of the cups up to see that it's under the far left one. <laughs> and then he comes back and the guy over here goes, thousand dollars, thousand dollars on that left one. Put it down, he picks it up. Not the there. Cup's gone. Oh. And then he does this. Bloop! It's on the right one. <laughs> or what he does Dude, is I've seen him do it he'll a lot. tell you to get your money out and he'll set the board down. And when he sets it down, he flips the board. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know the whole trick. They're good. But they're very good at it. And you'll never win it. Hey, and he money? just lost the bet of me putting this motherfucker back together. <laughs> Doing uh, axles too, right? Yeah, yeah we yeah. got axle and horsepower oh, axles for it. Oh, 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 that way the car drives straight. Well with control. It makes a big okay. difference, man, because when yeah. I had it on the V, when the I didn't have the it, the six chains and the V, same chassis, they get wonky. Yeah. I put the BMR stuff on there, it stays yeah. straight. It makes I'll, a huge I'll difference. Yeah. Yeah. This but is his CTSB. It's, it's safe. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What order are these? 
you change these out to a BMR one, yep. it's this one and the upper one, yep. it'll drive much better. Good. So we'll do that yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like we normally do? Yeah. Because once you start adding power, these things lock like that if you yeah. don't do those arms. Yeah. Don't snap your okay. dick. <laughs> we have them on the shelf. So these actually hold up pretty well on the Z01s. They're pretty, they're pretty strong. They're pretty sturdy. Yeah. As long as you're not dumping it at like six grand from a dig, you'll be oh, fine. No. <laughs> but just roll racing it, you, you won't break it. Not yet. Once I retire from football, then. <laughs> cam, a cam truck, cam only. I'd see that. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. I see something about, like, yeah, like, like a regular person, then you probably won't. Yeah, this thing's on. a major sleeper. Damn. That's why you don't race trucks in Texas. Oh, no. You don't <laughs> race trucks in Texas. In Mexico. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. This shit is clean. I call him V in all the videos that we've made so far. You don't know that yet. Say, how do you say the first name? First name's Halapulavati Vaitai. Come to V. See, I just say V. We're building big V's cars, what I've been saying the whole time. So, 18? 19. 19 20. to 20. Z01 Camaro. Uh, came in with just headers. Headers. I had um, a pulley done to it. This is a lower pulley, right? Lower pulley. Uh, Mickey, Tom uh, Mickey Thompson tires on uh, it. It was making roughly like 600. It was making 730, but about 620. To the wheels. Ripped to the wheels. Yeah. And so what we did essentially, uh, he already had the headers on it, so we're getting our 1200 horsepower package. So it's a Pro Charger F1894. We did a 10 rib setup, air to water intercooler. Um, v wanted the big power, so we said, screw it, let's do complete flex fuel on E85. So we got a triple four fuel system on it. Uh, we went ahead and did the Holly ECM for port injection. So we have plenty of fuel to make the horsepower we want with straight E85. Um, or he can put 93 in it and just cruise it around town. Um, oh, yeah. It's a big step up, but we also did a McLeod clutch to hold the horsepower. Uh, we don't want that clutch to spin right away. And yeah, he's got Mickey Thompson's on it right now. Uh, the car's almost done. We're gonna try to fire it up, hopefully Monday, Tuesday of next week, uh, put some miles on the clutch, and then uh, put it on the dyno and see what she does. Uh, yeah, can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Can't wait for that power. Yeah, he's, uh, you're gonna have to drive this. So most of these cars are automatics that we build and some of these guys can just hop in them and drive them but when you're making 1200 horsepower it's gonna be a handful but i think i think he can do it i think he can do it <laughs> if you want a badass car come to lmr Vitae's Z01 Camaro. This car is uh, like our 1200 horsepower package with flex fuel. So it has the additional fueling needed is a port injection system. So it has direct injection when it idles and drives around town. Once it sees so much boost, I have a separate ECM. We have a Holly system that controls a second set of injectors to give us all the fuel we need. We have a separate fuel system for it as well as injectors. And every pull I make on the dyno, I pull the factory computer log, which gives me data, and I also pull the Holly, which gives me data. And uh, again, it's more time consuming to tune a car like this because there's two different ECMs, but it's what's needed to make a thousand plus rear horsepower on straight E85. So now this car can, he's, he plays for the Detroit Lions, so it's gonna be shipped to Detroit. Uh, he can be cruising around with his buddies. He can put 93 in it. It'll make roughly around 800 rear wheel horsepower on 93, and then put straight E85 in it, and it's gonna be making, I just made 999, but it's gonna make over 1,000 the next few pulls we make. So all around, it's still a car you can hop in and drive every day. It's just cool to be able to show people. Uh, it's not easy to just tune these cars like a lot of people think. There's two different ECMs that are working. You gotta make sure both of them are happy. Both fuel systems are happy. It, it's just time consuming, but it's gonna be a badass car. He's gonna love it. It's still a stick car, too. It's that big boy V is gonna be driving the hell out of this thing. I love it. It's gonna be cool. It would have made it. Tell the owner to buy a new fucking dyno. The owner's a cheap ass and won't buy a new dyno. Have the tools to do it. Damn. Gosh dang it, man. Let's get his number. If it, if it would have not fucked up. 
right there we're at 1,003. It would have been well, like, probably what you said. Like, look, give you an idea. 956. We were at 990 right there, bro. Wow. At at 6200 RPMs, we were already four, almost 36 rear wheel horsepower more. I'm telling you, it's gonna make 1030. 10. I'll say 1020 yeah. with that tune up in it. Let it sit and let's either let's, yeah. let's set another one or let it sit. When you start it up, I can do draw a C or something like that. Or do you want to uh, try to cool off the front wheel? I mean, do I do both? done with Mr. Vitae's 2020 ZL1 Camaro. Just finished it on the dyno, made great numbers. Made 10, 1,031 rear wheel horsepower. That is on roughly 20 pounds of boost on E85. The car will make right over 800 rear wheel horsepower on 93 octane. The weather always sucks here in Houston. So I hate to say it guys, the video is gonna have to end here. Next one, you'll see this thing ripping on the street. How are we gonna be on the road? All right, so this thing isn't our normal automatic 1,000 rear horsepower car, so I am super stoked to drive this thing on the street with that McLeod twin disc clutch in it. See how this thing rips through the gears. I honestly wanted to see if it'll hook up in second with those big Mickey Thompsons on the back. I think it will haze them pretty good, but I think third gear and fourth gear is gonna rip and pull like crazy. So looking forward to it. Until next time. Hey.